welcome back. It's the 13th. A Sunday. Did I say it's our 13th? I think I did. There's no school today. Daytime. Exams are coming up. Oh dear, dear. Yeah, they're tomorrow, aren't they? So well, let's see what we can do here. Let's go down to the lounge. See if there's anyone around that wants to speak to us. No, everyone's ignorant. All right, so town map. We'll go to the mall. We'll go to the arcades. Then we'll see if we can do doggy social link at night. Oh, punching bag, that'll do. You showed the machine what you could dish out. Your persona strength has increased. It's getting dark out. You decide to go back to the dorm. Evening. Sup, dude? Dude! Exams start tomorrow, huh? Huh, this is the first time an exam has taken my mind off of something else. Usually it's the other way around. Oh, there's no doggy. There's no Ken either. I mean, I could do Ken social link. No? Alright, let's, let's go to town map. I may as well have kept this bit in the last part. Oh, well. There's no point now. May as well just leave it here. But the exam's coming up soon, which will speed us through the rest of this month. Well, not the rest of the month, but the rest of the month anyway. Dr. Edgar's macabre fortune nearly came true. Your persona's magic has increased. It's getting late. You decide to go back to the dorm. The 14th, a Monday. Second semester final exams begin today and last for six days. Good. The question seems familiar. What year did the Battle of Dano Urda begin? All the dots? Not very confident about your answer. Oh, great. I had no clue. So it's like, that'll do. That'll do. This question seems familiar. What element is found in ozone? Oxygen. I mean, come on, ozone. All the dots. You feel confident about your answer. 16th. This question seems familiar. Which rule relates to Lorenz Force? Well, left hand rule, of course. All the dots. You feel confident about your answer. The 17th. This question seems familiar. Translate the following. Fuyu wan sutomete. It's that one, isn't it? All the dots. You feel confident about your answer. Yep, I knew it would be. I was so confident. The 18th of Friday. This question seems familiar. Which plural is formed correctly? Cacti. You feel confident about your answer. The 19th, a Saturday. It's the last day of exams. It all looks familiar. All the dots. You feel like you did well. Today's exams has, end, has ended. Has ended. Yep. Have ended. That'll do. Right, so. Who have we got to see? So it's a Saturday. Akihiko will not be there. Student Council will not be there. So let's have a look at faculty office. Hopefully we've got Mitsuru. Hello! Makoto, what a coincidence. Yes. Totally. Are you on your way home? If you're not busy, would you like to do something? Mitsuru seems to want to walk home together. Would you like to spend time with her after school? Yes. This is so much better than what happened in the first week, the previous part. It's so much better. I'm, I'm so happy right now. I could almost cry. Okay, then let's go. It's rare that I have any free time. Mitsuru is smiling. Go to nice trip mall, what the burger? Interesting, so this is what it looks like inside. It's surprisingly small. 
Mitsuru seems nervous. Is this your first time? Well, technically yes, but I did pass by here once with Akihiko. So I understand that you don't eat with utensils here. Uh, I must admit that I'm not very familiar with fast food etiquette. I just realized I've not got personas for the social links sorted anyway. Ah well, I'm glad you're here with me. Mitsuri is forcing a smile. Is it profitable to sell these items at such a low price? I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. Mitsuru seems intrigued. Oh sorry, I was lost in thought again. I didn't ask you here just to eat. I wanted to express my personal thanks to you. We are all facing a trial, in the true sense of the term. And we've been and we've made it this far because we've been blessed with each other. I admit that I've been hard on you, much more so than the others, but I just wanted you to know. I appreciate your contribution. Mitsuru seems to depend on you. I feel that you now understand her better. Rank 2! Level 2, Empress. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. What about you? Time seems to pass so quickly. Unfortunately, I have another engagement. This was fun. We should do it again sometime. I apologize for the inconvenience. I'll see you later. After saying goodbye to Mitsuru, we decide to return to the dorm. Hopefully, there'll be Doggy there or Ken. Sup, dude? Dude! After exams were finished, I went for a walk around town. The number of the lost is increasing. I saw them everywhere I looked. Perhaps that has to do with the fall. We have to do something. Yes, I agree. We must continue going to Tartarus until the very end. Whether our opponent is a shadow, or whether it is faint, we will need to be strong to win. Right, doggy! Arf! Doggy is wagging his tail, is he bored? Doggy is looking at you bleedingly. Spend the evening with Doggy. Um, yeah. Arf! Doggy looks happy. Woof! A oh, woof woof. Doggy is frolicking happily. Doggy picked something up. Obtain Tomunculi. You decide to go back to the dorm with Doggy. Got a homunculus, awesome. The 20th is Sunday. There's no school today. Take time. Well, here we go, Yukari's room at the dormitory. Yes, who is it? It's me. Oh. You don't stop by very often, senpai. Is something wrong? No. I just wanted to talk. Ah, are you feeling won't we? <laughs> hey, are you teasing me? No. Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what this Nyx is like. Hey, do you think it's inside Tartarus? It's probably at the top. I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, isn't it, Senpai? To talk about our decision? I... I guess it is. <laughs> you're so easy to read. I've made my decision as well. Kirijo is making great strides to turn itself around. After I graduate, I plan to assume leadership of the group and continue where my father left off. I cannot turn back now, even if I wanted to. But what if you die? If I die defeating Nyx, then the Kirijo group will have to continue on without me. But I am confident they would fulfill my wishes. Ryoji said Nyx can't be defeated. But I kind of wonder about that. May as well give it a try. I don't think our special member can be killed either. It... is that me? I agree. What? Death dwelled within her, amplifying her abilities. Though she was exceptional to begin with. She's been burdened with so much, and she's still so cheerful all the time. Indeed I am. Where's the sweets? I feel like it's because of her that I've been able to get through all this. Maybe all this fighting isn't so bad. I at least got the best friends in my life out of the deal. 
<laughs> You're right. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, it doesn't matter whether or not we die. But it does. All that matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Does your decision have anything to do with your father? Hmm, a little. But it's more about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, when we were in Kyoto, you asked me to stand by your side. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. We will fight together, Yukari. Together. Together! I just had a thought during that, by the way. We've not had a phone call from Elizabeth telling us that the barrier is gone in Tartarus. Is there any point in me going to Tartarus right now until she's actually phoned me up? I don't think there is. So, I'm not gonna go. We're just gonna go on to the next full moon and see what happens. Which will probably be the make your choice, but I've already made my choice. We know what my choice is. Not killing him. Simple as that. We may as well fight Nyx. We may as well. Right, so, what we got here? Right, so, yep. Uh, Lucky Fortune! I should see if um, Elizabeth has any quests or anything to go anywhere. Dr. Edgar's macabre fortune nearly came true! If it's his magic is increased. It's getting dark out, it's time to go back to the dorm. Welcome back. Hello! No doggy, no Ken? Alright then, fine. We'll go to the town map. I want the doggy, because I've got him so close. I want to have him at rank 10. I mean, I wanted to get Akihiko's up, but you know. I really have a choice in that one. Just go a punching bag or whatever. Get through this one quickly. 21st of Monday. Maybe we can do Akihiko's now. Exam results will be posted today. Not that it matters. Hey, the results are posted. We decided to go look at the exam results. You are in the top 10. Everyone is looking at you. Your charm has greatly increased. You suddenly remember something. Mitsuru promised to give you a gift if you scored the highest. We should talk to Mitsuru when she's at school. But I didn't score the highest. This time is almost over. We decided to go back to your classroom. But I didn't score the highest. I'm top 10. All right. Right, let's begin. Tohokami Amitama. Today we'll finally talk about magic right here in Japan. Though I'm sure you think you're familiar with it already. You probably aren't. The view that magic is a dubious some culture is becoming more common. But what it swept into the corners of society. What, what it swept into the corners of society today was once central to Japan. There we go. It could even be said that magic was invented in Japan. After all, Himiko of Yama Taikoku was a shaman. She reportedly, reportedly used magic called Kido to control the country. Sadly, we have no way of knowing what kind of sorcery that was. The same is true for Prince Shotoku, who established a centralized government. He practiced Onyodo, so in a sense, he was also a shaman. Of origins like this, magic was naturally woven into the very fabric of Japan. In the Heian period, for example, Bureau of Onmyo was established for Onmyoji to expel evil spirits and give spiritual advice. You may be familiar with that from the legend of Abe no Seme. Oh dear. Even in the age of the samurai, even in the age of the samurai, magicians played their part. Many generals who studied divination and military tactics could be considered magicians. Are you listening? Don't become mesmerized now. <laughs> I'll test you to see how close you've been paying attention. I haven't. Get it wrong and you'll hear more taboo phrases. Tohom kame amitama. Who to call on? Ah, Yuki, I ask thee once again. What sorcery was Himiko said to have used? Kido. Whoa! Very good! Thank you, Kotodama, for that one. The trend of trying magic 
What? Tying. Tying magic. The, tr the trend of tying magic to the people continued to the Edo period, but the new government formed during the Meiji Reformation stamped it out. Alright. Oh god, that guy, which had been revived during the Edo period, faded away. That probably wasn't a guy. You gave the correct answer. Your charm has increased. His lessons get harder to read. That's the end for today. It's a Monday. Can we see Akihiko? Can we see him? We can, finally. What are you doing? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Right. I want to go pick up Persona. That'll be good for that. I forgot about it completely, and I need to make sure his goes up. Because I want to get his max rank persona sorted. <laughs> Good vote room, how may I help you today? Compendium. So, undertake a quest. Let me have a look here. Uh, anything to go anywhere? Doesn't seem to be anything where it's like, can you take me to blah blah blah. Oh no, visit your room. Bring me some Goku era helm. So, When's the deadline for that? There doesn't seem to be one. Well, we'll do that on a day where there isn't a social rank. Because now I've got them. I want I want to I want to actually do them. So it's star, isn't it? Yeah, he's star. There we go. Nope. There we go. Barely had enough money for that, didn't I? <laughs> yes, I'm gloating about how much money I have. Deal with it. Deal with it. Alright, uh. High school once again. Let's go. It's the laboratory hallway, isn't it? Yes, right. Akihiko. Yuki, what are you doing? Niko Shogun. Spend time after school with Akihiko? Yep. Alright, let's go. Akihiko seems somewhat happy. Who turned nice trip mall wild duck burger? The inside of the restaurant is busy. Yuki, there's a table open over there. Man, it's crowded in here. Is there a promotion going on? That reminds me, the other day, Mitsuru. No, I want a milkshake. A small boy sitting with his family at the next table begins screaming. You already said you wanted to have juice. You can't have both. The mother's voice is getting louder as she argues with her child. It's reached the point that your ears are hurting. What should you do? Um. Hmm. Alright, uh, Senpai, should we leave? Huh? Is something wrong? Akihiko is surprised. It seems that Akihiko wasn't bothered by the commotion at all. The family at the table next to you has gotten embarrassed and begins to leave. The child's screaming slowly recedes into the distance. He was full of energy. Akihiko is absent-mindedly watching them off. Um, I'm not saying he's just a child. That was not saying. Felt sorry for the boy. Really? When a parent scolds a child, that's a sign of affection too. Akihiko laughs. Akihiko suddenly falls silent. Yuki, do you think I'm strange? Ah, uh, you're definitely odd. I see. Akihiko laughs again. Sometimes people tell me that I'm a weird guy, or that I act kind of strange. Normally I wouldn't let that kind of thing get to me. But back in the day, they'd say I was like that because I didn't have parents. It's not like I could do anything about that. That's why I wanted to show them that they were wrong. Yeah, that doesn't matter now. That all happened back when I was a kid anyway. I mean, the orphanage wasn't all bad either. Akihiko smiled gently. Oh, sorry, I don't think I ever told you. I don't have any parents. My sister and I grew up in an orphanage. My sister's long gone too. That reminds me, you don't have any parents either. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't have brought that up. All the dots. Now wait, I think that might be why I wanted you to hear what I had to say about this. Because I think I can depend on you to understand me. Akihiko smiles wryly. You feel like you understand Akihiko a little better now. Rank 6. So you only need 4 more. 
four more. Star! I'm sorry for talking about that sort of thing. We should start heading back. You return to the dorm with Akihiko. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Today is December 21st. Oh, it's nearly Christmas! And there are less than ten days until New Year's Eve. But for some reason, I'm not scared at all. Well, maybe I'm scared a little. But I'm still gonna fight. Win or lose, I'm gonna give it my all. Doggy! Doggy! Doggy is looking at you pleadingly. Ken can go with you tonight. Go together! Arf! Doggy looks happy. Woof! Woof woof! Doggy, stop it! <laughs> stop licking me! Ha <laughs> ha! It tickles! Phew, I can see my breath. Yuki-san, aren't you cold? Do you want to use my jacket? It might be a bit small, though. The promised day is almost here. I I'm not gonna run anymore. I want you to know that. You spoke with Ken for a while. Woof! It seems Doggy is done playing. Oh, welcome back, Doggy. Ah, quit it. I told you to stop licking me. Come on, let's go home. You decide to go back to the dorm with Doggy and Ken. The 22nd! Tuesday. Oh, hello. Your cell phone rang. Good morning, this is Elizabeth. I'm calling to inform you that another human has strayed into Tartarus. Oh, so we still need to go to Tartarus then. One this time, I believe. Please don't delay in carrying out your rescue. Goodbye now. We'll do that on day one, though. The call ended. Because we still haven't had the... The barrier's gone, blah, blah, blah. There's been a change to Tartarus. None of that has happened. It's chilly today. Here we go. I have got a Leo Lamadone. Mr. Anushi left early, so I'll be teaching today in her place. Miss, 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 yeah. I think today we'll learn about near-death experiences. There's no real reason for it, and they've just been on my mind. Now, a near-death experience is defined as something an individual experiences just before death. Is it true insight into the afterlife, or simply a trick of the brain? It's, it's a trick of the brain, like, you're about to die. So what happens is your mind basically tries to think of any situation that's similar to how you're about to die, so you can fight against it. So like saying, you're in the water, a shark's coming towards you, it's going to bite you, it's going to chew and chomp on you and kill you, that sort of thing. Probably won't ever happen, but you know, it's possible it might happen. It's possible, slim chance. So as it's coming towards you, your mind, your brain starts to go through all your memories super fast, uses all its processing power to process all the images in your brain really quickly to try and find anything that could help in this situation and fight off that shock. That's why I'll probably remember a program that you watched, say, 30, 40 years ago. I'm assuming you'd be like 50 at this point. 30, 40 years ago, where it said, punch a shark in the nose. And then you'd punch the shark because you remembered it because your life flashed before your eyes. So he's probably not going to mention any of that. Opinions vary, but it is true that near-death experiences have been a hotly debated topic for some time. There are a few surviving records of ancient near-death experiences. According to the writers of Plato, a resuscitated soldier experienced the afterlife as a spirit. Nah, he was just delirious. A similar incident was reported in Japan by ethan ethan ethnologist Kunio Yanagita in the Tono Madagashari. Psychologist Carl Jung wrote that in his own near-death experience, he saw a vision of the Earth from afar. I'm sure you've heard of your own stories from famous or infamous, infamous individuals. I have a few first-hand reports with me today. Let me read you some of them. I felt as if my soul was detached from my body. I met a friend who had already passed away. I saw my whole life flashing before my eyes. There you go. I saw the most brilliant light. I was bathed in light. I experienced complete and total happiness. This is called euphoria. These kinds of reports are typical. 
Some have attempted to make direct recordings of near-death experiences. Researcher Kenneth Ring has tried to quantify near-death experiences with a weighted core experience index? Modern efforts have led to a new theory of near-death experiences, which goes like so. If an individual... Oh, here we go. If an individual who is dying denies that fact, he eventually realizes that death is a reality that he must accept and becomes angry. As a result, he'll try to do anything he can to extend his life. But the futility of this leads to depression. In the end, he accepts his fate. Oh, it's different from what I mentioned. Although, we may initially deny death, we'll accept it in the end. That's just how we humans are. Is everyone listening? It's not every day you'll hear a lesson like this. <laughs> how about a little test to prove you were listening? Get it wrong and memories of your life at school will disappear. I don't know. Who should I pick? Alright, Yuki, I ask thee again. What is the feeling of happiness in a near-death experience called? Euphoria. Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia was one of the options. Good work. That is correct. You'll have a happy school life. Some people say a near-death experience awakens one's higher consciousness. Whether or not that's true, there is an observably lower fear of death in those who have been through one. Perhaps this is because near-death experiences are surprisingly free of pain and suffering. This is not to say I'd want any of you to seek one out. Use the time you have here wisely, okay? That's all for today. Class is dismissed. You gave the correct answer. Your charm has increased. Lunchtime. Who is it? It's finally time for lunch. Is it Mitsuru? Oh, there you are. Well, I have a favor to ask. You free later today? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you later. Look, if, you, if you're available, let me know at school. I'm begging you. Junpei is pleading with you. Well, we'll do his. Nope. Junpei's takes priority because we're closer to finishing that one off. What a coincidence. Well, since you're here, I'd like to ask if you're free after school. Mm, I don't know yet. I see. But I'd like for you to come with me somewhere. That is, if you're available, just let me know. But Sarah wants you to go somewhere with her. Maybe you should spend some time with her. Ah, oh, it's Bebe, Yuki-sama. I need to talk to you. Can you come to the fashion club meeting today? No! Whatever he said. Please come if you can. I need to talk with you about something. I don't know what to do. I'll be waiting. Seems like something, something happened to Bebe. Maybe you should join him after school. Nah. The lunch break is almost over. You decide to return to your classroom. After school. Alright, class is in for today. Right, let's go make sure. Town map. I was going to do Elizabeth at some point, wasn't I? But we need to pick up a magician arcana. Do I actually have a magician persona already? Priestess, hang, star, death, hermit. Nope. Okay, we need to get a magician. So we need to make sure we can. 200 and 206. Can I even get that far? Maybe I do need to go to Tartarus then. Hmm. Register personas. No, persona compendium, that's what I want. Magicians near the top. Get the cheapest one we can, which is Nikamata. Don't want to waste our money at all, do we? No. Alright, let's back all the way out. Right, so let's go back to school. And we'll speak with Junpei. Hey, you on your way home? Do you have some time? I need someone to help me study. Junpei looks a little embarrassed. Nikomara, spend some time after school with Junpei. Yep. Already? Then let's stop by somewhere. Junpei seems happy. Gakken High School Library! Man, I'm sorry, I just can't figure this homework out by myself. We had a homework? Go ahead and laugh. 
but I've got more than anyone else. I forgot my homework the other day, so the teacher gave me twice as much today. Junpei sighs. I've been avoiding math ever since I started going here. All this vector and trigonometric ratio stuff sounds like magic to me. Junpei looks fed up. Alright, I'm gonna do this today. I'm gonna overcome my fear of math. You're on fire! Just watch me get through this. And help me out once in a while. Junpei dives into his own work with a great show of confidence. So the circle inside the triangle ABC where AB equals AC is. All the dots. Surprisingly, Junpei is actually taking his homework seriously. You helped Junpei as much as you could and waited for him to finish. If that's the case, then the answer is 40. Huh? Am I done? Whoa, I did it! I got through all of it! Shh! Oh, sorry. All the dots. <laughs> well done! Oh, I could get used to hearing that. Hey, thanks. You were really a big help. Junpei looks cheerful. I was thinking about really trying hard for once. I always thought that stuff like math would never help me in the future. But I noticed that it might be important, even if you never use it. It's like, how do I put it? What matters is how you put your time to use. I don't think I can start lecturing you on how to live your life or anything. I mean, there's nothing wrong with just doing what feels good in the moment. But in the end, it doesn't satisfy me. And it bothers me even more. Yeah, I guess I've got... Just got anxiety or something. All the dots. But I think I figured it out recently. I haven't found anything yet, but I get the feeling that I will someday. As long as I'm with you and everyone else, I guess friends are important after all. I think I understand. Really? I totally thought you were going to start laughing at me. <laughs> Junpei seems a little embarrassed. You're always doing your best all the time. It made me want to act like that. I mean, you study, you're in clubs. Aren't you in the student council too? I think that's amazing. It's rare for Junpei to sincerely praise anyone like this. After hearing what he thinks about you, you feel closer to him. Rank 8. Two to go with Junpei. Level 8. Magician. So, hey, that guy over there, is he a friend of yours? Huh? He hid. Oh, here we go. You turn around, but there's no one there. He was looking your way. It looked like he was holding something. A camera. Camera. Junpei jumps to his feet. I'm coming too. Huh? It's okay. You stay here. Oh, he got away. Ugh. Well, I've seen his face, so it's okay. You just leave it to me. I... I'll settle it myself. Uh, you shouldn't. Might give him the wrong idea if you go to him yourself. Uh, it'll soon change his attitude when I punch him in the face. Junpei seems worried about you. Anyway, let's go home. Sorry to keep you here so late. Try not to go home by yourself from now on, okay? Alright, you and Junpei return to the dorm together. Evening. Welcome back. Hello. Doggy, doggy or Ken? Doggy, doggy is closer to finishing, so doggy. Doggy is looking at you pleadingly. Fuku can go with you tonight. Um, yeah, go on. Arf. Doggy looks happy. He's so happy. Woof, woof, woof. Chuckle. Doggy Chen's as happy as ever, even though it's so cold. Hey, Yuki Chen. Do you have any plans for Christmas yet? Maybe a shrine isn't the best place to talk about this, though. If you and Yukari Chen are free, I thought maybe we could celebrate together. Seems fine to me. Oh, I mean, this isn't set in stone or anything, okay? I haven't asked Yukari Chen yet, and you might have someone else you'd rather be with. No, let's have a girly Christmas. You spoke with Fuka for a while. Woof. It seems Doggy is done playing. I could have Christmas with Doggy. Welcome back, Doggy-chan. 
Do you want to have a bath again today? I'll clean you right up. Oh, do you want to join too, Yuki-chan? I don't see why not. You decided to go back to the dorm with Doggy and get him a bath. The 23rd, a Wednesday. Day off. Today is the Emperor's birthday. There is no school. Literally. Gone. Tatsumi Port Island back, Alley. I thought you were going to go visit your mother's grave. Oh, hi, Sonata-san. Is this where you should be? Well, I was planning to. But when I thought about what I was going to say to her, it just didn't feel right. There are things I still need to do before I talk to her again. Yeah, same here. I don't have anything I need to tell Shinji right now. I have my own stuff to deal with. An undefeatable enemy, huh? Gosh, wonder what it's like. Undefeatable. You got me. But it doesn't matter, because I've made up my mind. I'm gonna look it straight in the eyes. Straight in the eyes. I like the sound of that. You can count me in, too. Yeah. Yeah. Great contribution there. Great contribution. Right, so that's the wrong menu. Turn map. So let's see here, the mall. Right, so today we'll see if we can do the quest. Or the request. I sent someone 200 and 206, we know. Right, so request. Undertake a quest. Where is it? Please go water the flowers. When I visited Gekken High School, I saw a neglected patch of flowers. Well, we'll take that up. Right. Do I even have any Odin juice? I don't know. We'll take that just in case I do. So, visit your room. There is no deadline, but I suggest that you not take too long to complete it. Alright. I may help you. What, can I not do it today? Not gonna give me the option. Oh. No, and I've not got the items for the ones either. Alright. Very well. Alright, so, arcade it is. That makes us get through quickly. Alright, so, yep. Lucky fortune. Do, 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 do. Evening! Hello! Hello! There are eight more days until New Year's Eve. Have you made up your mind yet, Yuki-san? Yeah, I made up my mind pretty much day one, but okay. Well, I have. I'm going to fight. When I thought about it, I realized that there really wasn't a choice to be made. Exactly! I don't want to have to tell my mum and Shinjiro-san that we failed. Indeed! Oh, it's Doggy-chan once again, then. I'm calling in Chan now. Doggy is looking at you bleedingly. Akihiko can go with you tonight. Oh, good. Go together then. Arf! Doggy looks happy. He's so happy. Woof! Woof, woof. It's pretty cold today, too. Shouldn't you be wearing something warmer? If you're cold, tell me. As he stands there shivering, this city's getting pretty lively around this time of year. I was. I didn't why until when he told me Christmas is coming up. I have many good memories about Christmas. I try so hard not to be jealous of oh god it's cold of people who had someone special. That's why I, when I was a kid. Now it's just another event that doesn't interest me. I know that feeling. You spoke quietly with Akihiko. Woof! It seems Doggy is done playing! Welcome back, Doggy. Let's head home. You decide to go back to the dorm with Doggy. 